Welcome to the Academy, a series focused on the basics of Star Wars The Old Republic. The Nar Shadda Nightlife event is a limited time event in Star Wars The Old Republic where you can head to Nar Shadda and gamble your credits away for a chance to win some unique prizes during this once yearly event sent in the summer. Unlike a real casino, you can also get tokens for free just by playing. This event has no level requirement, but you will need to be able to get to Nar Shadda, so you will need to have unlocked your ship in the story. The easiest way to start is to interact with the floating terminal in the center ring of the Republic or Imperial fleet, which will give you some free gambling chips and send you towards the event on Nar Shadda. The casino where the event takes place is located roughly in the middle of Nar Shadda's map, in the Star Cluster Casino on the Republic side, and the Club Vertica Club Imperial side. Once you get there, you'll see a bunch of players playing with the slot machines. There's three types of slot machines, Smuggler's Luck, Kingpin's Bounty, and Emperor's Grace. What machine you play depends on maybe what type of tokens you picked up off the ground for free while playing, or how many credits you want to spend on the event as some tokens are more expensive than others. To see if you have any tokens already, open your inventory and press the currency tab and that will show you your current token tally. Tokens are per character, so you can only put them into the machines on the character who picked them up off the ground or bought them from the concierge vendor in the casino area. If you're buying tokens outright, each type of token is used in a different machine and each machine has different things that you can win. The Smuggler's Casino Chip, the green one, is 5,000 credits. The Kingpin's Casino Chip is 100,000 credits, the blue one. And the purple token is 7.5 million credits. Well, that's a crazy amount. I've got some great news. There are some easy ways you can pick up Emperor's token without having to pay a single credit. One method players like to use is just by killing low-level enemies out on the starter planets. Nope, this does seem to have some type of limit, so once you've gotten a couple, you may want to go check out the other method, which is the tried and true run flashpoints as each boss seems to have a good chance of dropping an Emperor's token. Hammer Station seems to be a popular choice. Alternatively, you could play the Kingpin slot machine, especially if you've won some Kingpin's tokens along the way, because the Kingpin's machine can drop Emperor's Grace tokens, the very expensive ones. And why do you want those purple Emperor's Casino chips that go in the Emperor's Grace slot machine, the giant golden hut? That's because that's where all the main prizes come from. So while you may hear players spending hundreds of millions or even billions of credits to get the prizes, that does not mean you have to. And don't forget, the event lasts an entire month, so you will be getting more tokens naturally as you play. There's also a set of quests related to the Nar Shadda Nightlife event that will reward you with one of those expensive Ebers Casino Chips. If you need any help with those quests, feel free to visit my site as I've got a full guide up and a link in the description of the video. So if gambling's not your thing but story and silliness is, there is definitely something for you during this event. Now we're going to talk about the different types of slot machines. The most common one is called the Smuggler's Luck Machine, and this one is green in color and it uses green chips. These green Smuggler's Luck tokens are pretty, pretty common to get and they're not very expensive to buy. When using your tokens in the machine, I highly recommend don't actually watch the little spinning circle in the center of the machine. It's not very indicative of what you may win or not. Instead, I recommend opening up the other tab in your chat as that will show you exactly what you have won or not won. This will give you a much better feel for the odds than watching the little graphical circle that spins around. So when you're playing the green Smuggler's Luck inexpensive slot machine, you've got a large chance of losing and getting nothing back. You've got a pretty high chance of winning a Smuggler's Token back. You've got a low chance of winning Kingpin Chips, which can be used in the other slot machine. There's a very rare chance of the machine exploding and granting you an achievement called Quality Assurance. I want this achievement so bad I still haven't gotten it. And there's a very low chance of winning a Golden Certificate, which is the best outcome. And these certificates, Golden Certificates, can be turned in for prizes. The Nightlife event has a whole bunch of prizes. Some of the prizes only come from golden certificates, which you can win from pretty much any of the machines, and then you spend them on the prizes at the vendors located at the back of the casino. All of these prizes are fun cosmetic stuff. There's armors, weapons, mounts, decorations, nothing that you need, just a lot of fun stuff. While other prizes are not purchased with golden certificates, instead they are won from the more expensive slot machines. So now let's talk about the King Pins Bounty Slot Machine. These machines are purple in color and you use the blue token on them. The Kingpin token. 
So you may notice these kingpin tokens are a whole bunch more expensive. So unless you're getting them off the ground for free, you're going to be putting a lot of cash into the event if you have to buy these one by one. The cheapest way to play is to only buy the Smuggler's Casino tokens, play mainly the Smuggler's Luck Machine, and only play the Kingpin Machine once you have both the buff and the free Kingpin tokens you've won from the Smuggler's Machine. For the Kingpin's Machine, when you actually put your token in, you have a good chance of just losing and getting nothing. You have a good chance of just getting a free chip back, so basically spin again. You have a pretty okay-ish chance of getting a golden certificate which you can go spend on those rewards in the back of the casino and you have a kind of rare chance of getting a cartel market certificate which is an interesting type of currency that you can spend elsewhere entirely outside of the casino and i'm linking in the description of this video a uh, list of things that you can spend those rare cartel certificates on there's a bunch of cosmetic items and decorations that you can get if you're super lucky you may actually get one of the rare, rare prizes, and that's called the Mercenary Contract, which gives you a companion who's a Rodian called Frojo Nure. Or you could also get a mount, which is kind of cool. And the thing you're hoping for the most is likely an Emperor's Chip, and that you can go put in the most expensive slot machine without having to buy it for 7.5 million credits. Last is the Emperor's Grace slot machine. This one visually looks like a giant golden hut with a giant golden donut beside it. Someone went full ham in designing this. And this is the one that you put the expensive, rare, valuable purple tokens into. And it has a lot of exclusive prizes that you can't get through any other method, which is why everybody wants these. So when you do put your token into this machine, you have a about half the time, we'll just get your token back, so a free spin again. Sometimes you get 50 Kingpin Casino Chips back, which is kind of disappointing. It happens about roughly half the time too. Don't worry, you can take those back to the Kingpin's machine, spin some more, and hopefully you'll get another Emperor's Grace uh, token out of that. You have a chance of getting one or two golden certificates, and you have a chance of getting one or two cartel market certificates. All of those happen uh, at a decent rate. But what you really want is those exclusive prizes. So there is a whole bunch of stuff that you can only win from the Emperor's Grace slot machine. There's some special mounts, including the Lucky Pratar and the Kingpin's Predator mount. There's the High Roller Shades, a very silly cosmetic armor. Different pets. There's, uh, you can win the companion from here too. There's six different weapons. Do keep in mind, these high roller weapons can also be bought and sold on the GTN. So if you really wanted one of the weapons, please do not play the Emperor's slot machine and spend all your credits. Instead, go buy them directly from the GTN. And if you get one that you don't want, you can trade it to a friend or you can sell it on the GTN for a few million credits. As for those other rewards, including the companion, the pets, the high roller shades and the mounts those cannot be traded in any way so you can only win them from the machine now that you know how those three machines work if you have a huge amount of credits to burn i'm going to talk to you about the max bet machines and why you may or may not want to avoid them entirely so with update 7.1 the developers added a new type of machine sort of to the existing machines and these are only located in the vip center of the fleet uh, you will need to buy a little VIP wristband from the vendor downstairs in the cantina if you don't have one already, and then you're going to go up the elevator in the center of the fleet. There is three special types of machines up here called Max Bet Machines, and the vendor here sells Max Bet Tokens. These tokens cost 20 times the amount of a single chip that you would buy normally. So if an Emperor's Casino Chip is normally 7.5 million, the max bet Emperor's Casino Chip is 150 million credits. It's very clear that these type of tokens were introduced as a credit sink in the game to help remove credits from the economy. When I saw them, I was actually pretty excited because I did have a little stash of credits and I was like, hmm, maybe I can buy these and I'll have 20 times the odds and be more likely to win something. I was wrong. I was terribly wrong. Please learn from my mistakes. So according to the developers, these max bet tokens definitely do have a higher chance of winning, but it is nowhere close to 20 times the odds. Our research did lead to one great piece of news though. There is nothing exclusive to the max bet machine. So if you don't want to spend the 150 million credits for a token, there's literally no reason to do so. I think the only time that you might want to use these Emperor's Grace max bet machines is if you are at the point where you have more than 10 billion credits to burn. 
Otherwise, I've got some great news. Just go play the normal Emperor's Grace Machine and ignore the max bet one because the prizes seem to come pretty fast this year. This is actually the first year where I have been able to win every single prize with a reasonable amount of spins. And I'm especially regretting the fact that I went and bought the Emperor's Grace tokens at 150 million each because as I'm playing Flashpoints and as I'm playing Operations, I'm actually getting some of those tokens for free. Keep in mind while playing that gambling can be very addictive. This event is meant to be a fun way to spend some credits and pretend you're part of the Nar Shada nightlife scene. But it has a lot of the same attributes as a real life casino. Make sure to set goals about how many credits you want to spend and don't go beyond that. Same thing goes for time. If you find yourself in the casino for more than a couple hours, you might need a break. If you're doing something like thinking of dipping into your real life money to buy cartel coins to sell to buy more gambling tokens, it also might be time for you to take a break. Although a lot of the prizes you can win from the slot machines are very cool, a majority of them can be found as different versions in other parts of the game, and will likely return the next time the event rolls by, so don't stress too much about getting them. Unlike winning big in real life, winning big in Nar Shaddaa casinos won't be a life-changing event. As I've said multiple times during this video, you can also earn tokens just for playing the game, like flashpoints, operations, and just running around questing are great ways to do so. If you want to check out a full list of the rewards or you need more info about the event, I've got a link in the description of the video for you. If you enjoyed this in-depth guide to the Nar Shaddaa Nightlife event, you can subscribe to this channel and more videos like this will show up on your YouTube homepage. If you want to support the future of guides like this, visit soteresa.com support. As always, may lady luck be with you.